how do you keep your nail peelies from <laughs> popping off at the gym, Christine? Great question. I thought you'd never <laughs> ask because they do pop off sometimes. Yeah. And then I save them and I take them home and I put the peely right back on. <laughs> so it just happens sometimes. So sometimes, Deal with it. you know, you're working out so hard, you just pop a peely. It's going to happen. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It just means you had a good workout. Um, I mean, I have a video on how to prevent your peelies from popping off too early on Hollow Taco. If you want to check that out, <laughs> link, seriously, link down below. Link down below. <laughs> that helps. All right. Next question. Uh, well, I guess on, along the same lines, how do you lift weights with the mm. nails you have? Is it ever, is it preventing you from doing things? Generally speaking, no. And I get this question a lot. People think it must be impossible to work out with long nails. Yeah. Um, when in reality, a, a lot of trainers I see and influencers who are like fitness people, they all have long nails too. Mm -hmm. It's, it's. It's fine as long as you go slow and you're careful. So all all the dumbbells and like the bars that you see me holding, that's totally fine because I'm just wrapping my hand around a bar. And as long as your your nails aren't so long that they're stabbing you, yeah. stabbing your hand, then it's totally fine. Okay. The few things that I do avoid because mm -hmm. of my nails are changing cable attachments okay. at the cable machine. So that's those like weird machines that have a bunch of pulleys and things attached yeah. to them and sometimes there's a different attachment for a different grip you don't like unclipping i don't like them. unclipping the carabiner type thing yeah because that risks my nails so i generally okay. just don't change the attachment i just use whatever's there <laughs> okay and i also refuse to do anything with a medicine ball so those are those weighted balls yeah. like those spheres that you pick up and kind of throw on the ground sure. Um, yeah, I don't like gripping those. It's too and much I'll, risk. I'll never do kickboxing or anything with gloves or boxing. Yeah, you won't be punching. I punching be, the heavy bag anytime soon. won't be punching soon. anyone. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can do it. You can weight lift without breaking your nails. Yeah, you can have both. Uh, how you how do you deal with hand sores from lifting weights? Uh, yeah. Or do you just develop calluses or you deal with it? So, and this my first trainer kind of taught me this. You you do want to develop a little bit of calluses and you will mm -hmm. um, just kind of under your knuckles on your palms. Um, yeah, like if you're deadlifting, you're definitely going to get. Yeah, even if you're benching there. or just holding 20 pound dumbbells, you will okay. develop a callus and you want a little bit of it that you can take care of by kind of filing down just to make sure they don't break or like start splitting. So mm -hmm. I use a shitty emery board nail file to kind of maintain them yeah. and just help file them down. And then when I lift very heavy weight from the floor, like my body weight or higher, I will tape my hands with lifting tape. I, yeah. I don't use gloves. I've seen a lot of people ask me, why don't you just use gloves? I've tried it. I just think it interferes a lot with grip strength. And mm -hmm. then I don't feel like I'm truly like gripping the bar properly because my, maybe it's because I have smaller hands. I'm not sure, but it's just, just making my grip weaker to have mm -hmm. gloves. Um, so I, I don't do that, but I will tape my hands to prevent skin from like completely gotcha. peeling off when I'm lifting my body weight. Yeah. And I'll just quickly add sometimes when I'm lifting really heavy, I'll, I'll use a little bit of liquid, of liquid chalk, chalk just yeah. to help, help with the grip. Oh.